in the figure zone a semicircular wire is placed in uniform B directed towards right find the resultant magnetic force and torque on it the wire given is this one and the magnetic field is B which is in rightward direction the radius of this wire is R and the current in it is I for finding the net force on this wire we will consider the DL element a small DL element and uh, we will find out the magnetic force using the formula df is equal to ideal cross b means ideal cross b the magnitude will be ideal v sin theta and uh, here the magnetic field is making an angle of theta with the dl element if uh, we will find the direction of the magnetic force we will use the right hand thumb rule dl cross b means into the plane of the paper and this force force uh, the, the magnitude of this force is ideal v sin theta and the direction is into the plane symmetrical to this dl element there is another dl element in here and uh, uh, the magnetic force will be uh, ideal v sin theta again as uh, here theta angle is here and here again theta angle is here so here the magnetic force is again ideal v sin theta and the direction will be outward so both these forces will cancel out each other symmetrically all those dl elements here will face will face will experience some force and which will be cancelled out by the forces on these dl elements so i have written that so net force on the semicircular wire will be zero for every element on the left portion of the wire there will be a similar element on the right portion of the wire now let us calculate the resultant torque on the wire for that we will find out the torque on any small dl element first and after that we will break uh, that torque into two components and after that we will find out the net uh, net uh, torque so uh, torque is uh, torque is one uh, torque is possible only if uh, if uh, some force is acting and here torque is uh, torque is possible only because of this magnetic force so uh, let us assume that this radius vector is making an angle theta like this so the uh, this these two theta will be same because of the alternate angle and here this angle will be 90 minus theta so the angle between dl element and b is 90 minus theta so uh, the magnitude of this magnetic force is i r d theta b cos theta sin 90 minus theta is cos theta and dl is equal to r d, r d theta this theta is not same as this theta the direction of the df will be into the plane of the paper now let us calculate the small torque due to this this small force df the torque uh, formula is given by r cross f so r is the radius vector and uh, f is taken from here df sine 90 the angle will be 90 degree because r is like this and f is like this into the plane so the angle form is 90 degree so i have it written here as 90 degree and uh, the value of df will be taken from here and put into here so d torque is i r cross i r cross b cos theta d theta okay so the direction of torque will be like this r cross f r is like this f is like this so r cross f r cross f means like this in tangent way so similarly the small element here will experience the torque in this direction we will break the uh, this torque into two components the sine component will cancel out each other the, uh, this vector will cancel out this vector so the cos component will be added and net torque will be found out like this the cos component of both the small torques and the integration limit will be from theta is equal to 0 to theta is equal to pi and after the integration process we will get the torque as i pi r square b by 2 and direction will be downward direction will be downward 
so I have written here as minus j hope you understood this thank you